Welcome to another video. So today we're going to explore public pools. Now, if you are an experienced swimmer, you don't need to watch this, but a lot of you are beginner swimmers and you are unfamiliar with a public pool setting. So this video is going to give you a refresher on what to look for when you enter a public pool for the first time and uh, yeah, what you should pay attention to. This question was brought upon by uh, a member of our private Facebook group, which you should be joining. The link is down below. I'm just going to cover the basics, okay? You don't need to pay attention to everything in a pool area, but there are certain things that are just going to stand out as a swimmer, as a lap swimmer, okay? Just make that definition, def la la la. Make that definition clear, okay? This is a video intended for lap swimmers, okay? Not leisure swimmers, okay? So if you're going to play around and splash water with your friends at the pool, this video is not for you, okay? Now, if you are entering the public pool for the first time, this is what a public pool is gonna look like, okay? It's gonna look like hell. It's gonna look like visiting Disneyland for the first time, okay? There's just so many things going on all at once, okay? There's, just, it's just your, it's a sensory overload. So take a look at the screen. You can see like, this is what a typical public pool looks like, okay? Well, not this type, type of pool. This is an outdoor pool. Uh, by the way, if you are a swimmer, serious swimmer, you're going to be swimming indoors most of the year round. Okay, so outdoor pools like this, facility-wise, is just just an example. But these are seasonal. Okay, so you're only going to see these types of pools in the summertime. Okay, and you're not really going to be swimming just for summer. You're going to swim all year round if you're serious. But I just wanted to show you this picture because this is what you know, 99 out of 100 pools I swim at look like, you know, all year round, okay? So what do I see? Lots of people, all types of people, different types of people like families, kids, lifeguards, uh, just, just people that are different levels of swimming from like complete newbie, they don't know how to swim at all, to the expert swimmer. Now, if you are a lap swimmer, Avoid these areas at all costs, okay? You have been warned. These types of pools, these types of crowds will give you nothing but stress, all right? So if you are swimming in this type of environment, get out of there. Get out of there ASAP, okay? You should not be swimming in this type of... Now, when I see a lot of kids in a pool, that is a red flag, okay? Lots of kids means a lot of urine, a lot of spit, a lot of chaos okay it's a lot of stress i'm just telling you the reality as a lifeguard myself I, i've worked as a lifeguard for many years i know exactly what happens with kids and pools that are mixed together this is another type of pool where again you see a lot of families a lot of kids not a lot of serious swimmers avoid these types of places at all costs okay if you're gonna play around with like in the summertime and you want to cool off with your friends yeah yeah go for these types of pools but if you're going to try to swim laps in this type of pool, and I've tried it before, it's just going to fail. You're just going to fail, okay? So avoid these types of pools at all costs. As you can see, red flags everywhere. Kids, 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 kids. If the kids outnumber the adults, that's a red flag, okay? If there's a nice slide going down at the, into the water, that's a red flag. You should not be swimming there, okay? These are for leisure swimmers, okay? Separate leisure from lap. You are a lap swimmer. You are a serious swimmer. You should not be swimming in these types of pools. This is the type of pool that you should be swimming in as a lap swimmer. This is the pool I recommend, okay? Now, what do you notice, okay? There, there are, there's lane dividers, okay? We call these lane ropes. You see them in every type of serious pool where there's lap swimmers okay lane rope they divide the pool up so there's like a slow medium and fast lane usually this is the pool deck okay right here the pool deck never run on the pool deck i don't know why people especially kids they get excited when they enter the pool for the first time or they're going for the swim and they all run and they all slip and fall and crack their skulls so never run on the pool deck okay and another thing you should be doing is wearing sandals or flip-flops as you walk around this area. Okay, why? Because there's, there's all sorts of 
things you could step on, boogers, sharp pebbles. Just wear sandals, okay? Protect your feet, wear flip-flops or sandals, and walk slowly around the pool deck when you enter or exit the pool. These black lines, when we do front crawl, are indicators, okay? So they tell us where we're swimming, okay? When you're swimming front crawl, you're always looking down. You're not looking forward. No, you're looking down most of the time. When you look down, you pay attention to the black line. It's just like driving on the highway. You follow the lane, okay? According to where the lines are, okay? So you always wanna be smack in the middle of the black line as you follow, okay? And you notice that there's a T. The T indicates that your, your lane, your approach, you're slowly approaching the end of your lane. So you should set up a flip turn or get ready for the turn, your turn. It's usually a flip turn, okay? So when you see the T, it means get ready for your flip turn. The ledge here, here, okay? You should always grab onto the ledge. And oh look, there's a pool ladder, okay? You should slowly enter and exit the pool using the pool ladders. Or you can just sit down on the ledge and slowly insert your body into the water. Never jump into the pool, never dive into the pool, okay? Why? Because you, you must end up doing something by accident, like, like hitting another patron that you don't see, okay? And if you're swimming laps in a pool, it's kind of dangerous when you see some people jumping into the water from above you, okay? Or diving into you, okay? I've had it happen many times, stupid people. So never dive, never jump into the water. Respect the people that are swimming around you by slowly slipping into the water, okay, using the pull ladders or just, yeah, sliding in. You're probably wondering, what are these triangle flags? Okay, these are for backstrokers, okay? So if you're on backstroke, you can't see the T or the, the black line. So what do you do? You look at a ceiling, but the ceiling is never straight, okay? There's no indicators on the ceiling at any pull, okay? There's no black lines inserted, okay? So there's nothing to follow when you're doing backstroke. You're swimming blind. So the best thing that you can use to see visually as a backstroker when you're swimming on your back is seeing these flags. When you see these flags, it's just like the T. It tells you, okay, you're approaching the end of your lane. Get ready for your flip turn or slow down or whatever, okay? Just get ready because the worst thing you want to do is hit your head against the wall or smash your arm on the pool ledge, okay? I've had it happen, I've seen people do it. Always be aware of your surroundings, okay? I don't know why there, there's no sign for s slow and fast, but obviously there's like a slow and then medium and then the fast lane, okay? And uh, the way I use these lanes is not by the speed of uh, the, the sign, or the sign that says the speed, but the speed of the people, the people I'm swimming with, okay? So if I see an empty lane here, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna swim whatever I want. But when the pool fills up with lap swimmers, then you gotta respect the speed limits, okay? So if there's a lot of slow swimmers here, then I'm gonna move over to the medium. If there's a lot of medium swimmers here, then I'm gonna move over to the fast lane, okay? So just use common sense, know who you're swimming with, okay? If you're swimming with someone who's just swimming too fast for you, then move over to the, to the medium lane. If you're swimming in a lane where there's just too many slow people in front of you, don't be a dickhead and try to like cut everyone off, okay? This is not the highway, all right? So save some stress and just move to the appropriate lane. And you're probably wondering what these are, okay? These are starting blocks, okay? Never use these, never use these. I don't know why people use these in public lap swimming times, but never use these. Why? Because again, you're sharing this lane with other swimmers. When you're competing, you can use these starting blocks. Why? Because you get the lane all to yourself. When you're swimming in competitive swim clubs, yes, you can use these starting blocks if your coach allows you to use them, okay? But if you're alone and you swim in and you use these starting blocks in public swimming times, you're asking for trouble because there's other people swimming in the lane with you and you're just jumping, you're spearing into them. You're diving into other people. Do you think that's safe? It's not. So don't use these starting blocks when you're lap swimming. You should use the ladder 
or slowly slip into the water safely. Here's the timer. The timer is your friend. If you want to count how, how long it takes for you to swim one lap or 20 laps, okay, you go off this timer. Okay, you don't need to bring a watch to the pool. You don't need to bring a smartwatch. Just use a timer, okay? I don't know why people just they're addicted to their smartphones and eh, they can use all these apps and shit. Just use the timer here. Okay? These diving bars are only accessible when it's public school swimming time and uh, these lane ropes are taken out. Okay, so you can remove these uh, lane ropes when there's like a public swim time, like it's usually like family swim time. So there's no lap swimming. You shouldn't be swimming laps at family swim times, okay? And that's when the lane ropes are gone and then kids can jump off the diving board, okay? So that's when you should be out of the pool. Nice facility here. This is a lot more advanced because you can see here there's Olympic diving now, okay? When there's Olympic diving, it's a lot more serious. It's more serious the pool. Why? Because this area here is really deep it's like twice as deep as a regular public pool okay just to make up for people diving into the water and the lane ropes okay fun fact never grab onto the lane ropes if you're tired never i don't care what it is never grab onto the lane ropes okay the only time you should be grabbing onto the lane ropes is in case of emergency so for example you sprain your ankle or you pull a muscle you cramp up you have a heart attack having a seizure those types of river emergencies are the only times you should be grabbing onto the lane rope and when you grab onto the lane rope expect a lifeguard to jump in and pull you out of the water that's how serious it is okay so never grab on never rest and just linger on the lane ropes okay you're just asking for trouble it's like dialing 911 for a fake emergency and expecting a man an ambulance to pull up to your house and you say oh no it's just i'm just resting Never grab onto the lane ropes, okay? Grab onto the wall on the ledge. If you're a beginner swimmer and you tire easily, you swim on the outer edges of the pool, okay? So it's over here or over here, this lane here. See this lane here? You should swim in this lane. Why? Because you can grab onto this wall, this ledge at any time. If you get tired, you're just scared, or if you don't want to swim all the way to the end of this lane, okay? You can do that. You can swim half of this lane, grab onto the wall, jump out, do it again, okay? There's nobody telling you you have to swim the full length. Look at the the way it's sloped, okay? So every pool starts off shallow and then there's a drop off. This one is a gradual drop off. And you notice that the, the lane ropes are going perpendicular, okay? Some pools are designed like this. I don't know why, but that's the way they are. So if you were swimming in this pool for the first time and it's filled with water, you would be swimming in this lane because it's the most shallow. Here's my take on outdoor pools. I don't like swimming in them. Why? Because the weather fluctuates. It could be raining, it could be windy, there could be leaves, there could be bugs in the pool. And there's just, it, it invites families most of the time. So it's a recipe for disasters. Picture, this is what a typical day in my life looks like, okay? You think that swimming in, in pools is, is like a luxury? And fun it's not it's like driving on the highway okay if you've driven most of your life this is what driving is like you're not given one lane to yourself no you're sharing a lane with multiple swimmers and these swimmers you have no idea what you're dealing with okay what their level is how polite they are how much experience they have this guy can be a complete newbie this guy could be a complete dickhead this guy will not know anything about like giving space between swimmers. This person, look at this, look at this. This person and this person are swimming in the same direction at the same time. This is a recipe for disaster. This is what swimming looks like in my my eyes, okay? It's stressful. You're dealing with all types of dickhead. And look at this, this is a swimming class held right now okay so this this lane is you can't use this lane whatsoever okay they booked this lane the pool some lessons these people should get out of the water okay if you're resting more than 10 seconds you shouldn't be in this lane that's my motto i need this space to do a flip turn i can't do it safely or properly when there's just too many people crowding this area so be polite 
get out of the water and just relax in the hot tub. Chill in the hot tub, chill in the sauna, chill in the steam area, chi do whatever else besides hanging around this important area. These things, th this is a good indicator, it's a serious pull. What are these? These are bulkheads, okay? Bulkheads, these are uh, adjustable, so you can move them around, okay? You slowly pull them or push them, and you make make way, okay? So these things uh, s segregate the pool, okay? And this is an Olympic-sized pool, which is a good, good sign, another good sign. So an Olympic pool is usually 50 meters in length, okay, when you swim it. But most people can't swim 50 meters, so they divide up the pool like this, uh, make it like 25 meters like this. Okay, and uh, yeah, usually it starts off like shallow, a little bit more deep, and then deep right here. This is where the diving planks are. Okay, this is like scuba divers and uh, yeah, all that stuff, okay? So yeah, that's my take on uh, parts of a public pool. You don't need to know everything of a public pool. You just have to have common sense and know what you're dealing with, okay? Nine times out of 10, you're dealing with a lot of stress so look out for these red flags you know, like i covered in this video and uh yeah it's it's like driving on the highway you know driving in rush hour most of the time you just the best way to deal with rush hour is just to yeah not get too stressed over it if you want to learn how to swim if you need some more guide and more help download my free ebook okay the link is down below it's totally free okay i wrote this book Get the book, get ready for summer 2022. And yeah, that's all I have to say. Okay, so thanks for watching. My name is Justin, and bye!